Hey everyone, this is Jason from EskimoTV.net and today I'm going to be unboxing Taylor Swift Folklore The Long Pond Studio Sessions. This is a Record Store Day 2023 release and so let's go ahead and get right into it. Here's the front, here's the back. I uh, want to take note that the price at my local record store here in Houston, Texas, Vinyl Edge, priced this at $47.99. I've seen this go from anywhere from $42 to $49 at different stores. Um, so this is a pretty fair, reasonable price. I also have not researched this thoroughly, but I've heard a lot of people say that there's a difference between records that have this Disney Plus sticker and those that don't, that the ones that have this Disney Plus sticker weigh more. I'm curious if any of y'all have thoughts on that, if that seems accurate um, to you. So I'm actually going to start off by taking the shrink wrap off of this. So I'm going to try to find a good place to pull this from. I'm going to see if I can make like a little incision here. So this is a live studio album of folklore as seen on Disney Plus. And um, the cool thing about this release, I actually just got to see Taylor Swift on Friday, um, April the 21st, and then this record released the day after. So really cool deal. I'm so sorry this is taking forever y'all. I'm just trying not to get any cuts. I've heard people criticize like the way I unbox these. I probably should get like a box cutter or something more official to do this. But anyways, okay, shrink wrap is off. I will take these stickers off later. And what I like to do is put them on the inside pieces. So this is a pretty pricey record, but it is uh, two discs. So that's pretty nice. And so when you open this up, oh, it's not a gatefold. <laughs> okay. Oh, that kind of stinks. This is pretty pricey and not a gatefold. Well, it is Taylor Swift. She can price things at whatever she wants. So anyways, here's the front without the shrink wrap. Here is uh, going to be the spine. If I can get that in focus, maybe. Please, camera, there we go, Taylor Swift Folklore, The Long Pond Studio Sessions, got a Republic logo there, and on the back, here are your tracks, feel free to um, pause this at any point. And now we'll take an inside look at the discs. We have two. So they're going to be a gray color. These do have a firm weight to it. Here's going to be side A. It's this grayish color. What's really cool about this record is it does match the cover art, which is really nice. So that's going to be disc one there. Moving on to disc two, you'll have side C and side D. And that's it. This is a pretty standard release. I'll double check to see if there's anything else inside. Maybe I missed. Thought there might be a handout. Yeah, here we go. Got a little a uh, photo of Miss Tay Tay in the studio. And then back here, you have some credits for each of these songs. I'll slowly scan across if you would like to take a look, take a pause. As well as some photos down here. So really cool, I like that insert and I like this photo. If someone really wanted to frame this, that's a nice photo ready to frame. And that'll, that'll do it. There's nothing else uh, on the inside, just uh, black um, on the inside. 
Uh, but this is a nice record. I love folklore. I at least like that I'm getting two discs. I think this probably should have been priced like in the 30s, but uh, hey, it's a Record Store Day exclusive. It is Taylor Swift, and if you're a fan of folklore, this is definitely a record that you may want to invest in. I'm curious with how many were pressed if this will ever get discounted, if there's going to be too many, or if they did all sell out. Let me know y'all's Record Store Day experiences in the comments below. Where I went, there was a ton of this. Um, I'm not sure if they ended up running out or not. Time will tell. Uh, if you enjoyed this unboxing video of Taylor Swift Folklore, The Long Pond Sessions, go ahead and smash that like button. You can also consider subscribing to the channel if you want to see more videos like this in your feed. I typically post on movies, but every now and then I'll do an unboxing of a vinyl record uh, or a Broadway review or something random just going on in my life. So uh, consider uh, sub subscribing to the channel. And if you want to check out my website, it's going to be EskimoTV.net. And until next time, my name is Jason Escamilla from EskimoTV.net.